guys, it's Amber Nigel. So welcome to my channel. Uh, so this video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve a heatless blowout on my hair. That is when I want to straighten the hair without actually using um, a hair dryer or sitting under the hair dryer and thus exposing the fur to heat. Um, I use basically two methods usually. My favorite is African threading, which gets the hair much straighter, um, and then two strand twists. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I use two strands twists to straight or stretch my hair. Um, I've been wearing my hair in twists and also a little bit of twist up just without fluffing for this week just to have a low manipulation style. So it's time for me to refresh the hair and then I'll show you guys how I then prep the hair for, um, for um, straightening. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the hair using the LCO method. So once the section is moisturized, I'm going to do a tight two strand twist. You can click on the link above now um, to take you to the video where I show you how to actually do a two strand twist if you don't yet know how to do it. already see that the hair is far longer than had it been um, sh left to shrink right so I'm going to carry on and twist all the 16 sections of my hair and then um, once I'm done I'm going to pack it in a stretched manner so by that I mean I'm just going to pin the hair stretch so that it dries in a stretch way then when I have to comb it out it will give me that heatless blowout um, I'll come back to you guys in two days to show you what's happening Okay, so like I said, I'm just refreshing or moisturizing the sections with the LCO method and then continuing to put twists all through my head in my usual 16 sections. Okay, so just unravel your twist and once you have the two sections, I'll work on each half um, separately. So I'll take the one half and then just twist it around until I've removed the curl definition in that segment. If, they are in, if the ends have tangled on itself, I'll just um, separate them. I then go in with my comb. You can see that it is much easier to comb or quite easy to comb from root to tip because the hair has been nicely detangled prior to the twists being inserted. And I just repeat this for the other half of the twist as well. So twirl it around until I remove the curl pattern from the twists. Um, remove the, any knots if the ends have gotten knotted together and then I'm just going to comb through this segment. So once I'm done with this segment, I'll just twirl it around my finger slightly and then pin it in place with a bobby pin. This is just to keep this area straight while I work on the rest of my hair. Once you're done with all the sections, remove the bobby pins and just straighten out those sections again. Just use your hand and smoothen them out.
Okay, so this is basically the heatless blowout. The fro is not 100% stretched, but it's stretched enough to allow me to do what I want to do, which is install box braids. I like to install them on hair um, that is not shrunk, and I find that it's a bit neater that way. And I prefer to also stretch it at home before I go to the salon. Um, yeah, stretching with African threading would have allowed me to have straighter results, but due to time constraints, I could not do that um, because it takes a bit longer to dry on my hair when I do African threading, but this for me is sufficient. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe it helped you learn something new. Uh, let me know in the comment box down below how you stretch your afro. Do you use heat or do you use heatless blowout methods? And if you do use heatless method, what method do you prefer? Uh, please like the video, please comment, please share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!